Bonjour everyone, welcome back to my channel, happy to have you. Today I am doing a overview of everything I have um, as part of my summer wardrobe. I am a minimalist, of course, so I don't have a lot of stuff and last time I made a video about everything in my wardrobe I ended up at 32 items. I thought it would be fun to do like a summer capsule version of that type of video, basically showing you everything that is in my summer wardrobe as of right now going into summer if you are a regular viewer of my channel you know that i am by no means a summer child i'm way more into winter or fall i'm not so good with the heat and i also like to dress for it way less my color scheme all year round is pretty set in stone but for summer since i am kind of only starting to build up a really solid base for my summer wardrobe now and for the future i am focusing on only the colors that i know i really love that do go really well together that i do find really summer friendly so that at least when i buy something if something doesn't work out it most certainly is not because of the color the first thing i have as part of my summer capsule wardrobe is this dress I'm wearing right now. This dress is 100% Cupro. I bought it in another stories and it is probably the most comfortable thing that I have owned in my entire life. So as someone who doesn't really do so well in summer, have something that is this easy and this comfortable, it's probably gonna carry me through a lot of warm days where I don't know what else I would like to wear. It's good to have at least one piece that you feel nothing short of amazing in so that you are less tempted to make impulse purchases. It is super casual and easy, so on the days where I don't know what to wear, I'll remind myself that I have this to wear, even if I have to wear it over and over again. So, lucky that I have this one. The next thing I have as part of my tiny capsule wardrobe so far is this uh, viscose dress from Ghani that I bought for a wedding. Blue plays a huge role in my personal color scheme. It's one of my favorite colors. It's also one of the only colors that I have adopted in multiple shades. And I'm not super into a floral print, but I do think that this black floral print is super inoffensive. It's not super romantic, but it's still light and feminine. It is viscose and it has this crepe-like feel and the fabric is a tad more delicate like something like this so it's not a dress that i'll just be throwing on to go to the lake like i would with this one this is for slightly more dressier situations or maybe just going for a drink or for a day in the city for me this dress is near perfect if not already then i have two more dresses both wrap dresses both black this is a black wrap dress that i bought last year it is polyester so in that sense it's not super summer friendly but since it is a wrap dress it's also super light and flowy so i do wear it in summer anyway last summer i wore it all season but again because it's polyester it's not the most comfortable thing that you can have so i'm happy to have something else to be able to alternate in between but this is also a very classic me style super easy my next wrap dress is also polyester but it is slightly thinner to the touch this i was also wearing all last season this dress though is not really perfect like when i wear it i kind of have to use a pin so that it doesn't open up and it does create a little bit like a weird shape but since i am at a place with my summer wardrobe where i'm not 100 percent confident in it i'm not ready to let go of great items even if they aren't perfect because if i let go of items right now just because they aren't at 100 percent i'll be more likely to bring something else in that also is not 100 percent just because um i'm desperate so this one I'm also keeping and will probably wear a bunch more this summer. That's it for my dresses, so I'll go to the my shorts and skirts. I'm really a lot of a skirt person, but I'm very picky with how a, a skirt looks and the shape it has. And one of my favorite things is just wrap things in general, both for dresses and for skirts. And this skirt, I don't love 100% but I do love it on me. I don't know if that makes a lot of sense. This is two years old and I still wear it all the time. Since I keep going back to it and it sort of carries me through summer over and over again, it's 
also starting to maybe grow on me a little bit for that reason. The next skirt that I have is also the newest addition to my wardrobe. It is a blue and white striped skirt. It's just above the knee, which I think is a really flattering length for me at this point. I feel like I have outgrown the mini look and so a skirt this length is way more flattering in my opinion. This is from a tailor-made brand here in, in Zurich and I really wanted it so I bought it but honestly it's a little bit more preppy than what I'm used to. I feel a little bit guilty about that but that's just the thing with building on a wardrobe that is not uh, your favorite. For me in winter and fall it's much easier not to make a string of mistake purchases because I already pretty much know what I like to a certain extent and so I have a lot of proof of concept so whenever I buy something I can pretty much know for certain uh, whether I will wear it or not. Of course with um, exceptions to that rule as well but for summer it's a little bit harder because I don't have a lot of proof of concept of what I like and the few things I have a true proof of concept of is also often things that are not super uh, easy to come by and so I'm still in my experimental phase which is why something like this has made its way to my wardrobe but we'll see about it maybe it will maybe I'm worried for nothing and it'll get a lot of wear then the next thing I have that survived its way into this season is a denim mini skirt this is a proof of concept for me I have been wearing a denim mini skirt for a lot of time many years many seasons now and I really like this one I like the color I like that it's quite thin because some denim skirts are really thick and it's just a mess for summer. So I'm giving it this season to hang out in my wardrobe, but I think that I've grown out of the mini look to the point where I probably won't want to wear it. As you know, I write down everything that I wear every day, so it'll be really easy for me to tell whether I wear it or not and how much. Then the last thing I have as an, uh, what is that called in English? I'm not sure if there's a word in English for that, but all the downstairs things are these slightly cream white legged pants. These are also new and these were not accounted for on my wish list. I just walked past them and I was so in love with the look, went to try them on and just bought them on the spot. So that was an Impulse purchase, which again, you're more likely to make when you are not super confident where your wardrobe is at, but I have been wearing them every day where the weather has been uh, bad enough to do so since I bought them. So I'm happy that I found these. That is literally all I have for like the under type of clothing. It's a bit of a sparse selection, even for me. I'm not a hundred percent happy. No, wait, I'm not. Line. I also bought these pink shorts from uh, Etsy actually. I only recently started preaching Etsy and it is because I bought these handmade shorts from a linen store. Whenever you buy stuff tailor-made clothing on, on Etsy, you're just almost guaranteed that things are in a really, really high quality because people are making that themselves because they care about the craft, but also the review system on Etsy is really, it's pretty heavy and pretty severe. So if someone isn't making clothes that is up to par then um, the store won't be doing very well and so I'll link to these in the description because these are just amazing quality the only thing again I worry about slightly is that they are a little bit mini I feel felt like I needed these in my wardrobe but now we'll get to see how much I actually get to wear them for tops I have a few things from Everlane I have this linen button-up t-shirt I love almost everything about this the only thing I might not love so much about it is that it is pretty stiff I have personally totally embraced linen because it, it's such a light and comfortable fabric for summer and as someone who's not so good friends with summer, I really need something like that. But at the same time, it does have a little bit of a rough and rigid look. I mean, obviously, because it's linen, it does crease. And I'm honestly just not always super into that look. But other than that, this is really perfect. And the rough and rigidness is just something that I try to live with and then obviously I steam it before I leave my house. The next Everlane piece is the same type of style but this is in silk. This is way more drapey on my body and this I actually absolutely adore. The only thing that I don't adore by it is because it is sort of, sort of like a crepey 
uh, type silk. It does appear dirty super quickly and in theory I should only be throwing this to the dry cleaner. I mean I don't. I do wash it myself. The next top I have is like 1 million years old. I think I've had this for like 6 years. It is just a basic cotton body with like a deep v-neck. I don't wear this a lot. I don't think it's super chic but um, I've never been able to let go of it because it does sort of serve a purpose even if I only grab for it every month or so maybe a little bit more often or less often depending on whether I'm into it at the moment or not but it's just super comfortable and it survived in my wardrobe this far you know it serves a little bit like a blinky like whenever I'm in doubt I can always go back to this one and it'll work out for me then another top this is a high neck strap top from Danish brand Samsu. This is 50% cotton and then Modale for the rest. It's super comfortable and it's super light. I don't love everything about it, but I really did need something nice and easy that was also skin tight. And that is the role this guy served. I also have this one. This is the last shirt that I have. But this is 100% linen from Gap. This also followed me in from last year also of course since it's linen kind of like a rigid look i have used this shirt a lot and i don't take good care of it i just wear it as i please and then i look after it after the fact and it's still here and it's still white so it's doing well when it's super super worn and unbearable a white long sleeved linen shirt really is just so needed then as for jackets i do have three blazers in my life at this point one is the i have it here but my checkered uh mango blazer and it's quite fun because this looks super summer friendly and i bought it uh last year going out of summer but because it is 100 percent polyester it's just unbearable and um i've learned my lesson and i won't be able to wear it this summer and I think just due to the fact that it is polyester, it is an old fast fashion piece, even though I like the style of it, I have come to just kind of despise it. And that's a shame because design-wise it is a really nice piece, so I will be selling this is the conclusion I've come to because even though it hurts a little bit to let go of the design that's kind of besides the point when I'm starting to have like ill feelings towards uh, my thing because having only few things I try to be really careful about uh, the relationship I have with the few things that I have so when I start feeling like spite towards an article of clothing or an article of clothing give me some sort of like guilt or shame or sad melancholia then I just don't want it around any longer it's not certain me and so I'm gonna stop trying to hang on to this then I have one more blazer and this one it also has uh, it is cut with polyester even though it's a really high quality piece so ugh. but it is this green blazer that I just bought last time I went back home to Copenhagen and I do absolutely adore it but it is a little bit on the thick side um, and again there's polyester in it so I didn't include it in my summer wardrobe just because I won't wear it, I'll be miserable in it. Still absolutely love this guy and uh, he'll come back out to play when the weather is a bit less hot. Another jacket I thought I could have included is my Burberry trench coat, but painful as it truly is to me because I absolutely love my trench coat. It just won't serve me in summer. It's literally too hot. Like I won't be able to, to wear it. It's rendered useless when it's like uh, 24 degrees at night. Uh, it's, it's way too warm. And that leaves me with the only jacket I actually will be able to wear. And even this is not perfect. This is 100% wool with 100% viscose lining. Even though it's wool, it is very um, thin, the fabric. So it is actually really light and breathable. So this is sort of the only summer friendly jacket I have right now. So another summer friendly jacket is something I will be on the lookout for. I'm looking for either like a uh, light blue denim coat or something like a uh, super light either viscose or a linen blazer because this um, is not enough for me. There is one thing that I haven't included in this video and it is this top for reformation that I also bought to add to my basics. It is a 100% linen top and I don't have to wear a bra with it. It's double lined. It's just perfect but i'm not showing it off right now because it is at uh, my tailors it was gaping a little bit at the chest and i think it's so important that 
when you become super assertive and picky about what you bring into your wardrobe so you can make a wardrobe that is basic like perfection for you it's so important that when you do find something that you really like and it almost works don't cut corners take it to the tailor so that they can make it fit to you exactly and so that's why i'm not showing it off right now because my tailor is just taking in the little part of the chest that is gaping. But other than that, I will continue to build as slowly and surely as I can on my summer wardrobe. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up so that I know. Also because it really does help out my small channel. And if you're here for the first time and not already subscribed, then consider doing that because I would love to keep you around. Thanks for watching and follow.